Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Holland. I'm a product manager here at Snowflake and I wanted to show off this exciting solution that I used in my day-to-day -day life as a product manager at Snowflake that uses AI and my data in Snowflake to give me better insights into customer needs and surface those insights instantly and at low cost. So let me walk you through the scenario. Now as a product manager, one of the questions that I'm always trying to answer is what can we be building as a product here at Snowflake to make customers' lives easier, to provide more value to them? That's the question I need to answer. One of the most valuable data sources for any single product manager is support tickets or support cases. People who are using your product who are running into issues, having problems, there's a wealth of information you can get by reviewing support tickets. It's something I always encourage PMs on my team to do is spend a little bit of time every month, You know, open up a support ticket, read through the email thread. You're gonna get a lot of insight into what it's like to actually use your product by doing that. So one weekend, a few weeks ago, I was looking at some of our support cases. At Snowflake, we use tools like Salesforce to manage our support cases. And we had hundreds of support cases over the last few months. And I really wanted to understand, you know, what is driving support cases over the last three months? Now we load all of our support case data into Snowflake. So I had access to the data, but there was so much text and context there. You know, you have these email threads, you have these descriptions, you have all this information. Yeah, we have some basic categories of cases, but I want more depth of insight that I know is hiding somewhere in that data, but I don't wanna spend hours and hours, if not days, to read months of support cases, and then hopefully be able to like collect the info. So what I built, in a number of hours was the solution that took all of that support case, all of that data, all of the exchange data description data, it sent it securely to an LLM running inside of Snowflake through Cortex AI. And in a matter of minutes, it generated for me a simple one page description that said, hey, for the last few months, this is what's driving support cases for your product. It summarized all the key insights. It was very readable and digestible. So I was able to save hours of time and then even actually share the solution through Streamlit all in Snowflake. So that's the story. I wanna show you how I built this now and actually demo it. Because Snowflake support case data is sensitive, it's got customer information, I'm not gonna show you actual Snowflake data that I used when I built this app, but this is the actual app that I built. Uh, I've used, I've just replaced it with some sample data. So let's pretend now that this is an e-commerce site, you know, somewhere that you're gonna go buy on an e-retailer. That's the fictional data set that we're gonna be using. So here on my screen, I'm, I'm kinda showing the end. This is a one page summary that I generated based on support cases for this e-commerce site. So, right, like instead of looking at hundreds of support cases, instead I have this very precise AI generated summary. It's telling me what are the issues that I need to prioritize, what are some examples, and I can even dive in for some more insight. Now, let me show you what it took to actually build something like this summary. So the first place that I started was in Snowflake Notebooks. I love Snowflake Notebooks. This was an easy spot for me to jump actually between SQL and Python. I even have some mark down here. So I mentioned before I, I, I used an LLM here. Let me, let me walk you through the process. So I have my support case data, right? Here's our e-commerce site. I've got a bunch of information. I know if it required an escalation, what's the category? Now the challenge that I have is, how do I take all the support case data and send it to an AI, to LLM, that can provide those insights? Now here's one challenge that I have. How do I send this to an LLM securely? If I was to take our sensitive data and go send it to some third party LLM or some AI that's running outside of our Snowflake account, I honestly could have lost my job because this has sensitive data. I don't wanna send this outside of my Snowflake account. What's amazing about Snowflake Cortex is that I do not have to. With Snowflake Cortex, we securely run with LLMs inside of my Snowflake account powered by GPUs all I have to do is call them. In fact, I'm gonna jump down here a little bit and show you the step where I do that. Uh, here is where I'm able to call Cortex LLM. I do this all just through uh, Python in my case. I'm just gonna say, go ahead and complete, call this LLM. I'm gonna go in here and call LLM. I'm actually using a common LLM library called Langchain. I'll walk you through why I'm doing that in a second. I can just specify the model that I wanna call. We host 
tons of them in Snowflake. There's Rekka, there's Mistral Large, there's Mixtral, there's Llama 3. We've got massive, like 240 billion parameter LLMs. But what's great here, two things. One, I don't have to do anything to get these running. But more importantly, these are all running securely in my Snowflake account. So I can send some of my sensitive data, like support cases, to these models. Now, I mentioned that I'm using this library called Langchain. Let me tell you why. So LLMs are incredibly powerful, but they do have limitations. Now, one of the limitations are what's called context windows. You can only send so much text, so much data into an LLM in a single request. Well, if I look at our support case data, this has 40,000 words just in this sample of data here. The LLMs that I wanna use cannot support a context window that large. It can't support hosting 40,000 words of text that I just throw in and I say summarize all at once. It's a, it's a common problem that folks have. So what I'm actually doing is I'm integrating with an open source library called Langchain. This actually has native support for Snowflake Cortex out of the box. Now I'm using Langchain to actually go through a process which is doing what's called MapReduce. So what I'm doing here, I'll, I'll just show you, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll actually show you the prompts that I'm using. Langchain is gonna orchestrate actually a number of LLM requests for me, but, that, but the library makes it pretty easy. So first, I break this up into smaller chunks. So I take you know three months or six months of support case data, and I break it up into chunks of data that are small enough to fit within that context window. So in my case, that's about like 28,000 words per chunk. And then I ask the LLM, hey, here's a bunch of support cases. I want you to summarize them for me tell key findings, understand what the customer was trying to do, help me understand trends and the cases and the samples. So I'm getting these big chunks, I'm sending them to the LLM and I'm saying, give me a summary. Now, after I do that for all of the different pieces, this is where I now have the reduce step, which is now I need to consolidate this into a single summary. So then I just have the last step, which says, hey, here's a bunch of summaries that I've generated, You know, summary for chunk one, summary for chunk two, summary for chunk three can you now give me the consolidated summary? Give me the global summary of all of the summaries. So that's the logic that I'm doing. But again, I'm using Langchain that makes this all pretty easy. You can see this is just a few lines in Python code that I'm describing. I want you to call a Cortex LLM. That's where I want the brains to be here, the secured running in Snowflake LLM. I'm gonna do that, You know, create different chunks, uh, create the map step, create the reduce step. And then I go ahead and run this and you can see this is running right now. I actually just kicked this off a little bit ago. Now, now this one's taking a little bit longer. This takes about 10 minutes. So this actually might complete here in a second. I actually did the calculation. This cost me $1 of Snowflake spend to do this processing, to do these months and months of, of support case data. And at the end of the day, what I get now is this summary. Uh, in fact, I went an extra step ahead. All of that logic that I built in that notebook actually compiled directly in a Streamlit interface as well. So I could share it with other PMs who are interested in doing the same thing. You can choose the different support cases that I wanna do the processing on. I can see a preview of the cases and I can actually go ahead and kick off that same processing here from the Streamlit app. So if I don't wanna to have to use my notebook, maybe I want something a little bit more interactive. Again, I'm able to use Streamlit with Cortex AI. This is doing all that work that I mentioned behind the scenes. It's getting all the support cases for however far back in time I told it to go back in time. I can tell it how much to do in parallel. Uh, and here now it's it's kicking that off to go ahead and, and generate my summary for me. Um, so here you know, is, is the summary that I get. One last pretty cool thing with the solution. I know we've already shown a lot, but again, this is kind of what we did. So now I got to the point where I was like, okay, I have my summary. I can see that one of the big problems that we're having issues with is package delivery. Uh, so for instance, it said, you've got a lot of support cases where people are saying the item was delivered, but they didn't actually receive it. Well, this is a good clue. This is great. But now I wanna know more. Like what, what are some examples here? I actually wanna go dive into what is obviously a key trend here for me to go focus on. Can I get a little bit more insight? So now how can I go quickly find the support cases for this issue? And this is where Cortex Search came in. Cortex Search makes it super easy to build a RAG style app or retrieval augmented generation. What that means is that I can build something like a chat interface on top of my data. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna come here to the same stream app. I've got this Cortex Search tab. And this is actually gonna show for me a chat interface. Now this chat interface is calling 
an LLM in Snowflake. You can see I've got a few options here. I'm just going to use Mistral Large to be the LLM. And this is connected to Cortex Search. All I had to do to set up Cortex Search, in fact, I think it's in the same notebook. I'll just show you because it's, it's super easy. I just said, create Cortex Search and point it to my support cases. Like this one line of SQL is all that I have to do. And Cortex Search will now look at my data in Snowflake. It's gonna index all the data. It's gonna get it ready for that retrieval augmented generation. So all I now have to do for my Stream app is when I ask it a question, tell Cortex Search to look at my data and integrate that with the LLM to get the answer for my data. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, tell me about some support cases with, and what was the issue? Marked as delivery, but not received, right? That was the signal I got from my summary. So I'm gonna press enter here. When it says thinking what now, right now it's doing is very quickly in like a few milliseconds. It's asking Cortex Search, give me all of the support cases that are relevant to the question that Jeff is asking. It then instantly grabbed a bunch of my data from Snowflake, merged that together with my question, sent it to this LLM running in Snowflake. And you can see here, I get this answer. It said, yeah, there's a bunch of cases here. In one instance, the package was delivered to the wrong address. In another instance, there was an investigation. So here's my answer to get me more, but even better, with Snowflake, we really want to make groundedness, reliability. That's a key part of this. So I actually get references returned as well. I now get the actual support case IDs that this used as a source. So I could, one, confirm that this is actually accurate. But now I can easily go dive in. Here's five cases for me to go jump into and learn more. All of this. I was able to build in literally a few hours. I am not making this up. Like this is this is a legit scenario, which is why I wanted to share like the amazing power that you can get from Snowflake when you can combine the insights of something like AI securely with your data, with some amazing developer tooling like notebooks. So I could do this experimentation iteration, integrating with Python code, integrating with Langchain, securely calling LLMs at scale. And then being able to build interactive experiences with chatbots and retrieval augmented generation with things like Cortex Search and Cortex Analyst to bring this into the hands of every user. This significantly made my life better. I now run this tool every few weeks to get a temperature of what's driving support cases. The same solution, there's a quick start that you can go check out on Snowflake Quick Starts of this same solution that I just walked you through. If you wanna give it a shot, maybe you've got some support cases, maybe you've got some other data, you wanna dive a little bit deeper into how this works, Go give it a spin, spin up your Snowflake account, create a trial, give it a shot. And again, hopefully you start to see what is possible with the power of Snowflake, Cortex, Python, all brought together securely with your data and reliable AI applications. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions and I can't wait to see what you build.